Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to use a sewing machine. All machines are different, but they generally work the same. And I'll show you how two of mine work. First, place the sewing machine on a table. Find the foot pedal and the power cord. Most importantly, find the owner's manual. You'll need some sewing machine needles, in case yours break, and bobbins. There are several different kinds of bobbins, so check with the manual as to the best one for your machine. You'll need a spool of thread. All-purpose thread works great with most fabrics. And finally, you'll need some fabric. Pillowcases work great for practicing on. It's best to iron your fabric a bit first, as it's hard to work with wrinkly stuff. You'll want to see if you already have a bobbin with thread in the machine. If not, we'll have to wind one. Place the spool of thread on the machine. There are thread guides on the top of every machine showing you how to string the thread through. Then place the thread through the little hole of the bobbin. Place it on the bobbin holder and push it to the side. Hold the thread from the hole upwards. Press on the pedal and let the bobbin wind itself. Wind a few more times, then cut the thread from the hole. Some machines can sense when the bobbin is full, but I like to manually stop it once it's three-fourths full. Cut the thread. Push the bobbin back the other way and take it off the machine. Now it is time to insert the bobbin. Find the bobbin holder, which in my machine is in the front of the needle. Take off the cover. My machine allows me to just drop the bobbin in like this. And then according to the diagram, I weave the thread around like this. Some other machines will have you insert the bobbin in different ways, so check the manual for the correct method. Replace the cover. My older machine has one small difference. I have to push the button inside the hand wheel to tell the machine to wind the bobbin. Now it is time to thread the machine. This is usually the tricky part of the machine sewing for the first time. Place the spool of thread on the machine and then follow the guide printed on the machine. Then down the front like this, then around, and back up like this. At the top is a little metal lever, which I need to catch the thread around. Back down like this. And I have a little thread guide here in this machine, which my older machine does not have. Now it's time to attach the thread through the needle. Some machines have an automatic needle threader. Other machines you have to push the thread through the eye of the needle yourself, just as if you were hand sewing. Once the machine is properly threaded, it is time to begin sewing. The presser foot is very important as it holds the fabric on the machine when sewing. You can raise and lower the presser foot like this. Next, we have a hand wheel, which manually lowers and raises the sewing needle. Turn the wheel towards you and watch how the needle moves up and down. Before inserting the fabric, Always raise the presser foot and raise the machine's sewing needle. Additionally, pull towards the back of the machine and under the presser foot about six inches of thread. Set your machine to a straight stitch, either by touching the correct button on the screen or using the stitch dial. Two other settings to check. Tension should be set to the middle number or auto and stitch length to about 2.5. Place two pieces of fabric together. Place the edge of the fabric around the 5 8 inch mark. Lower the presser foot. Then turn the wheel to lower the needle. The machine is now ready to begin sewing. Press gently on the floor pedal. Just like a car, if you press the pedal a little bit, the machine goes slower. Pressing it all the way down to the floor makes it go fast. Let the machine do the work. 
Your hands and fingers are there only to gently guide the fabric in case it veers off slightly from the 5 8 inch mark. It helps to go slowly at first. It's okay to go past the edge of the fabric. Once you are finished, raise the presser foot and needle first. Gently pull the fabric away from the machine. Cut the thread. And now you have a nice straight stitch holding two pieces of fabric together. I'm going to show this from a different angle. Some sewers like to lower the needle first, then lower the presser foot, and begin sewing. Let the machine do the work and let your hands just gently guide the fabric. Lift the needle and presser foot. You might have some hidden thread cutters around the machine, which really helps. And here's our newly sewn seam. Let's go back a bit to my older machine. Before I even start sewing with this machine, I have to pull up the bobbin thread first. I turn the hand wheel to lower the needle while holding the thread end from the needle. Pull it up like this. Grab the bobbin thread and pull it back like this. Now you are ready to sew with this machine. The method of sewing I showed you works nice in machine quilting, but if that were stitches in clothing, the seam might tear apart at the two ends. Our machines usually have a button or lever to do a reverse stitch, also known as a back stitch. Take three or four stitches forward. Then press the back or reverse stitch on the machine two or three times. These are stitches that help lock everything in place. Then just continue sewing the forward straight stitch. As you approach the end of the fabric, slow down the machine. Make a few stitches backwards. Then proceed with the forward stitches. Take the fabric off the machine as before. And now you have two very secure ends. At some point, you will need to replace or change the sewing needle. First, shut off the power to the machine and unplug it for safety reasons. You might need a screwdriver to loosen the screw. Carefully remove the sewing needle. They are usually flat on one side and curved on the other. You'll need to insert the new one in the correct direction depending upon your machine. And use the screwdriver to gently secure it a bit more. And that's it. When you are done sewing, always shut off the machine and cover it to protect it. Check the owner's manual about ongoing maintenance and care. And that's how I use a sewing machine. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.